geometry. Not Euclidean geometry. The fifth postulate. Yeah. Does that mean it can go to infinity too? 
No, because it touches the end of the circle. There's no arrow. Oh, it says. Okay. Just a line, not a line segment. So this could go in any direction. On the circle, of course it can. It's all the same. Yeah, because it's like the radius. Okay. Oh, so wow. who's gonna get an A on their math test because she has a best friend that likes non city geometry? Who's gonna get an F in their social life because you're studying this instead of going out? Well, you know what? I love not including geometry, and that's all I need. So you need to get over it. Well, explain more. Maybe I like it. Number four. This one. You should understand, Mother. All right angles are what? identical. What was that supposed to mean? <laughs> Maybe you like this one because there's lots of right angles. Wait. What in the world? What's a what's right angle? Ready? Like this. Like. The loser sign? We do the cheerleaders like every day. Oh my god! Yeah! What the heck? Ready? Become Ready? a cheerleader and stop calling them losers. All right angles are identical. Yep. So draw. So all right angles equal this? Yeah. 90 degrees! That's a little obtuse, but that's okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now you have to draw the symbol that says that it's a right angle. Uh huh. You remembered that? Good job. That deserves a high five. Oh my god. Okay, so if this is non Euclidean geometry, what is just Euclidean geometry? What makes it Euclidean? You've never asked me that kind of question before. Okay. We have to be really connecting over to non Euclidean geometry. Alright, so I'm curious. Does it really matter? Oh, but it does. So you see, this is Euclidean geometry. And Euclidean geometry includes all four postulates that non-Euclidean include. But Euclidean geometry has a fifth postulate, which is this. Given a point P and the line L, there is exactly one line through P that is parallel to L. And that means what? At there can be a point in space and a line point in space. I have a beautiful artist right here. Ha. And a line that goes to infinity in either direction. Very good. Nice arrows. And then there's a line that goes through the point, which is labeled P. And it's parallel the line. Very good, Miranda. Do you get it? I think so. Okay, but there's a catch. Alright, what's the catch? Ready? Okay, so, non-Euclidean geometry, which is not Euclidean, understand? Yes, yes, I understand. Wait, wait, wait. Elizabeth, so Multiple planes. Wait, so did Euclidean invent non-Euclidean geometry? No. Mr. Euclid did. He invented both. Hence his name is in both. Duh. <sighs> Anyways, Euclidean geometry deals with one plane. That's why there's one point and one line that create two parallel lines. So non-Euclidean is that one plane too? No, that's multiple planes. Because non-Euclidean geometry says that there's any line intersects with a different line somewhere in the universe because it deals with multiple planes. So, so even if like oh, this line and this line go forever and ever and ever without touching that way, eventually they're called. There's a line goes like this and intersects them. So even though there's like parallel lines in the world, there's a line that will intersect them. Do you guys understand it? I yeah. Guess. I think so. Still. It's kind of dumb. But yeah. Really? Man, I thought you guys were like going to break into song or something because it is so amazing. <laughs> song? Yeah? Song? Break into song because singing is so much fun because geometry is so much fun. Okay. You could in geometry, not you could in geometry, I must pay
Wasn't that easy to learn? Very good. Yeah.